Welcome to Live Alive. In today's video we'll start with Liverpool very keen on Ferdi Kadayoglu. Liverpool's approach to the summer transfer window has been one of careful deliberation. With the overlapping international tournaments, the Copa America and Euro 2024, it seems the club has opted to assess their options thoroughly before making any moves. According to an Italian sports news outlet, Calcio Mercato, Liverpool are now gearing up to make significant additions to their squad. One of the most exciting prospects linked with a move to Liverpool is Ferdi Kadayoglu, a standout performer at Euro 2024. Kadayoglu, who played every minute of Turkey's campaign, has showcased versatility and skill, traits that have not gone unnoticed. Calcio Mercato reports that Liverpool are very interested in signing the left-back, who has also drawn interest from Juventus and, notably, Manchester United. Kadayoglu's performance has indeed been stellar, described by ITV commentator Lee Dixon as looking an absolute star during the tournament. His ability to invert into midfield from a left-back position, coupled with being right-footed, adds a layer of tactical flexibility that Liverpool could leverage. While Liverpool has been linked with several players this summer, their interest in Kadayoglu appears particularly strategic, despite already having Andy Robertson and Costas Tsimikas as options for the left-back position. The potential departure of Tsimikas might necessitate a new signing. Kadayoglu, with his midfield capabilities, offers more than just a defensive solution, potentially providing Liverpool with additional options in both defence and midfield. Andre Trindade finally set for transfer, Fluminense midfielder Andre looks to be heading to the Premier League this summer to join Fulham, a year after Liverpool tried to bring the Brazilian to Anfield, last summer, Liverpool were looking to reinvigorate their midfield, with Jordan Henderson, James Milner and Fabinho all departing Anfield ahead of the 2023-24 season. In their place, the Reds added Alexis McAllister, Dominic Sobarsly, Ryan Gravenberch and Wataru Endo, overhauling their engine room in the space of a few months, however, Liverpool were also known to have wanted Andre, as well as Moises Caicedo and Romeo Lavia both of whom opted to join Chelsea. They put in a deadline day bid for the Brazilian according to the Fluminense president Mario Bittencourt, who outlined at the time Andre would only be sold in January at the earliest. Speaking to ESPN Brazil last year, Bittencourt said, Liverpool's chief executive, Billy Hogan, contacted me directly. I replied to him, my friend, I don't sell players now and I don't deliver them now. If you want to buy now and only get the player in January, we can start talking. Or if you want to wait until December, we can talk in December. Andre remained with Fluminense and went on to help the Brazilian side claim Copa Libertadores glory when they defeated Boca Juniors in extra time in Rio de Janeiro. However, it looks as though he will be on his way to the Premier League this summer. Triviller report Fulham are in advanced negotiations to bring the Brazilian to Craven Cottage. With Andre's agent in London to finalize a deal, Marco Silva's side are said to have made a bid of $27 million. Fluminese reportedly want $32 million. Liverpool made contact to sign Mark Gurhi, according to Fabrizio Romano in the daily briefing. Liverpool's interest in Mark Gurhi was marked by an initial inquiry back in March. Romano noted, Mark Gurhi has been excellent for England during the Euros and many clubs have been scouting him this season, but at the moment nothing is concrete yet. For example, around March Liverpool asked about his situation but didn't follow up with proposals or negotiations. Mark Gurhi's performances at Euro 2024 have been nothing short of impressive, drawing attention from top clubs across Europe. As Romano pointed out, Liverpool made a preliminary inquiry into Gurhi's availability in March, but did not pursue immediate negotiations. This cautious approach could be due to multiple reasons, including assessing his performances at an international level and strategic timing concerning other potential transfers. Liverpool's interest in Gorhi seems well justified as he continues to excel on the international stage. The player's valuation by Crystal Palace, set at around £65 million, reflects his growing reputation and potential to strengthen Liverpool's defensive lineup. Romano emphasizes the need for careful consideration, stating, I can guarantee that as of today, it remains a calm situation to be discussed later in the window. The timing of Liverpool's transfer moves appears to be aligned with the conclusion of Euro 2024. With the tournament nearing its end and Gorhi set to play a crucial role in the final, Liverpool may be preparing to revisit their interest. The club's strategy of waiting until the end of international competitions to finalise decisions is a prudent one, allowing them to evaluate players in highly competitive settings. This strategic patience also aligns with slots' integration into the team's management. 
His influence on the squad's dynamics and the types of players targeted for transfers will be crucial in determining the success of Liverpool's upcoming season. Edison ready for red switch, Atalanta midfielder Edison has reportedly given Liverpool optimism about being able to strike a deal, as he is open-minded about moving to the club, in his first summer as the Reds' boss, Onslaught will want to make some big transfers to ensure the club can compete for titles. Last season, they came third in the Premier League, but fell back from the title chase late on. Slot has identified a number of top players that he'd like to bring to the club, one of which would improve upon a position, defensive midfield, that Jurgen Klopp was unable to source a good addition for when he signed for midfielders last summer. That man is Atalanta's Edison. Liverpool have been linked with him regularly over the past few months. In mid-June, it was confirmed that contact had been made with the midfielder's camp, further to that, it was stated a £38 million bid would be coming from the Reds. But it seems that no bid came, and speculation over the transfer has died out somewhat, but since Thiago Alcantara's departure and subsequent retirement from football, it seems the Reds' desire to recruit in the midfield will now increase and Slot has been given a lot of confidence over the ability to sign Edison. Indeed, according to Give Me Sport, the midfielder himself has given Liverpool confidence that it's possible. That's as he's said to be open-minded over a move to Anfield this summer, that he's refused to rule out the possibility of leaving Atalanta may prompt the Reds to finally move on Edison, knowing it could now be an easy snare. However, the Reds are not yet moving for the midfielder. Indeed, the report states they have opted against signing him at this stage, but with their attention firmly on signing a defensive midfield player, whether or not that is to change upon learning Edison's stance remains to be seen. And that's the final content of today's video, like subscribe to support Live Alive.